Good day, collective. Good day. I am coming to you with a karmic reptilian roundup. Okay. Kali Ma is the energy doing this roundup. You could be impacted by these people or y'all are the karmic skin rounded up. Take it how it resonates for you though. Um, okay. And depending on what you've done, like that depends on your karma. If you was out here sacrificing people, get ready for your karma. If you was out here perpetuating violence as a career, get ready for karma. It is what it is. Let me get my location, Dick. Location, location, location. Make sure you all subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Members only. I do have individual sign messages that will be uploaded to you all. Okay upload it for you all, okay? We've got West Virginia. Whoever's in West Virginia, it's some people in West Virginia, but they were born in New York and born in California. You alls, or they're all, they work in hospitals, some nurses. Uh, they play on WhatsApp and that WhatsApp communication is being mirrored to some other individuals online okay so if you are currently in west virginia and you were born in california or you were born in new york and you are low vibrational and karmic your whatsapp communications are being mirrored internationally on other people's devices through the internet all your business is being exposed <laughs> West Virginia. Let me go ahead and put that back now. All right. Where is this roundup, Kalima? Thank you. Where is this roundup? Huh? Energies. Energies trying to find their energy or inner inner chi. It's Massachusetts teacher energy. An artist, an architect, and a soldier. They could be from this area, but they live here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said that's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm screaming. Ah. So many downloads. Just a moment. I'm going to take another swig of this. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. What needs to be known about the teacher? What needs to be known about the teacher? Massachusetts energy. Roundup. Is this teacher rounding someone up? They're a spiritualist. It's a masculine energy. He teaches philosophy. And he's realized he's taught his own enemies about divine masculine energy. And he's in despair this teacher he did it for money Kalima what about this teacher Massachusetts energy
Yeah, his wife is sick because of it. Excuse me, some angels are talking to me. Teacher is a male Aquarius. His wife is a Pisces. She's debating whether or not to go to a mental health hospital. She's uh, trying to figure out how to get out of her marriage. Possibly even go to a mental health hospital saying, my husband did magic on me for me to marry him. I feel weird. I hear voices. What can I do? But angels are saying she's trying to avoid going to prison. She's watching. Ma'am, your husband has cursed you. He already knew you were going to run your ass away from this battle. What angel wants me to address? this teacher's wife in Massachusetts. You have the King of Swords, Let Aya. The exalted God, victory, grants victory and protection from lightning. So to the wife, you wanna apologize to divine feminines for gaining off of their challenges, being separated from their divine masculine. You chose to be loyal to your husband. So you have to move forward with what's gonna happen with you and your husband. Y'all both are about to be taken to a facility. You all and you all's coven. The people that he taught, all of y'all. Yeah, y'all were teaching about twin flames and soulmates and how to give them karma and interfere with their ventures. Let Uaya is on y'all asses. Card number 11. He got the fire and the sword. Y'all don't have enough earth or water in y'all chart, even though you're a Pisces male. Y'all not about to be protected from God's lightning. Y'all play with them heart folks too. Oh, it's an angel in my house. Don't worry about it. It's an angel beside Amari right now. Don't, don't trip. So-and-so only hit one that's still his B-I-T-C-H. And anywho, Archangel, what do you want me to what, what you want me to speak on when it comes to this teacher and his wife and their coven in Massachusetts? They prematurely used their spiritual gifts. That child card energy is them prematurely using their spiritual gifts. That's why they're getting rounded up. So not only were y'all not prepared to use y'all's gifts, but you used it in low vibrational ways. Thoughts in the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you all practice emotional intelligence. You learned about telepathy. You learned about ESP. You learned all of that shit, but you all prematurely did this. So that's why you all are in bad health. Your husband just now started watching, ma'am. He said you already knew you all's mask was going to be taken off. He's currently at the facility that you are about to be dragged out of your home and taken to. Oh yeah, this is live. Time doesn't exist 
in different realms. Clarifying the child card. What about this teacher in Massachusetts energy with the child card? You have merchant. What about the business? The police is about to lock somebody up in Massachusetts that was teaching individuals how to do love spells for money, teaching young women. It could be a group of women that are young, main females that have businesses, possibly childcare businesses, um, but that's a cover up. In reality, they spiritually attack soulmates and twin flames constantly sitting up in their rooms, chanting and praying every chance they get. Those women are hags. It doesn't matter their age. It's one in particular though that's, uh, how old are you, ma'am? Speak up, because you've been lying about your age. She's 46 and then ran out of money and she doesn't have any friends. It's money in reverse, friend in reverse. It's a 46 year old woman. The wife, the wife is 46, that's you? Yes, I was very frivolous and jealous. That's, yeah, she's all in her head, you guys. She can't hear angels. That's why she's watching this video. Ma'am, angels said you are about to be taken to the same facility that your husband is at. The women that have been creating premature businesses, using love spells, also using different herbs and spells, magic to induce preterm labor to cause birth defects, that's very nasty. Um, to cause birth defects. It's about to be karma for that. Yeah, those masculines, it's the masculine energies that have buried babies that were born prematurely. But it's because those women purposely induced labor early using spell work and herbs. And it was for money. One of these females, I can hear her cussing somebody out right now. She thought it was their friend. She feels like they've reached out to me and like literally was like, hey, so-and-so did such and such, such and such. And the other person is like, I didn't reach out to anybody. You're the one watching her YouTube channel. Terrifying gift. I'll get to you all in just a moment. Architect, I'll get to you in a moment. Something was stolen from you by a friend, some money. They were a clout chaser. So it's the architect. This person said he's not in New Hampshire, but he has connections in New Hampshire. He wants to expose a friend of his that's really a foe. It's a doctor for stealing some money from him. He want him rounded up. Yeah, you got conversation in reverse though. I told you the this teacher, their coven, the women that they were teaching, they cannot hear angels. Angels do not talk to them. They are very, very low vibrational. They misused and abused spirituality, misused and abused innocence. Emo they misused and abused emotional intelligence. Somebody does have a child care business in Massachusetts. They're a teacher, but they're about to get rounded up. African-American tarot. This teacher doesn't, the director is watching. This teacher doesn't talk much, but you feel like they're gifted. Yeah, you got the queen of cups and the four of wands. Somebody's boss, king of wands right there. Somebody's boss is watching this. Hopefully you're not a male teacher. Your boss seem, believes that you are very gifted, sir. But at the same time, oh, you're not, you're in Florida, but you're from Massachusetts. Okay, nice to meet you. Yeah, you got Hierophant and Emperor right there. 
Uh, my husband said, I'm going to speak a lot of truth. If the police come to your door, just take it as healing and whatever wish you made for, whatever wish you made, maybe you came into contact with the child and you can sense that spell work was being done on them. So your energy is coming out so that child can get justice. So it's a teacher here. His boss is watching also. It's a child in this facility that's been impacted by spell work and they want justice. What needs to be known about the child that has spell work being done on them in the child care facility in Massachusetts? This child can't talk, so they're looked at as being gifted. You have the five of wands. It was due to spiritual warfare. Five of swords, manipulation, four of pentacles, five of pentacles. This child's mom and dad are four pinnacle hoes. The father, he's, um, the father comes off as being very like a scholar, but that's because he knows how to give people what they want. And then he just goes on about his way. The mother is like a natural caregiver, but she has some skeletons in her closet about spell work that's about to be exposed. The mom has Leo in her chart. Her ancestors are exposing her because they're very, very sad that she went this route to do spell work on her child. Why did she do that? Why did this mother in Massachusetts do spell work on her child? The mother is a, 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 a Leo, but she has a Libra placement. You got the Queen of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. It was to trap the father. She felt like the father isn't wealthy, but he could be. This teacher in Massachusetts energy with King of Swords is some police officers watching that's trying to bring healing to a couple of different situations going on in the state of Massachusetts. Mind manipulation spells was used on a child in whatever facility that y'all are aware of. It wasn't the director, it was the mom. In another facility, another child care facility, it's a male, he, he spiritually has sex with um, select students that's old enough to like know what sex is and they okay with it. That's nasty, y'all. I'm about to move on. Look, Queen of Wands with the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm about to keep it moving because this is nasty. Yep, Six of Swords with the Seven of Swords with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I'm going to keep moving now. Um, police officers. I feel like y'all need to just do y'all investigations how you should. Do not be relying on tarot to wrap these folks up. You need to actually watch them. You need to actually watch their movement and what they're doing. Y'all have enough mind manipulation tactics to that you can use out of a King of Wands energy. Influence the right Caucasian woman and you guys will get all the information that you need. Influence them spiritually. Call on Archangel Let Uaya to support you to get that victory and have protection from lightning in the process. That Aquarius um, masculine energy that was teaching low vibrational things, this architect is going to make sure that something happens to you in the facility that you're in. I don't think you're going to see your wife ever again, sir. I'm just being honest. Yeah, you got the Ace of Pentacles right here. Drives away evil spirits and rules agricultural production. Rectification helps one live in peace with everyone. Yeah, I don't think you and your wife are going to be reunited. It's God's design. Y'all was playing with the human design stuff too. You were teaching a bunch of people a bunch of unnecessary things is basically why you getting rounded up. That's why you're where you're at. He said he knows. Good. Okay, let me get into this architect energy. Just a moment. Libra masculine, I'm not going to pray for you. You go pray for yourself. (sighs) 
moving forward, architect. This architect energy is by himself. What's up, architect? You got the gift and thoughts. What are you thinking, architect? What's on your mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? What's up, architect? Architect and gift. What about this architect and gift energy? What needs to be known about this architect? and gift energy. It's an architect. He's an official person. He or she is an official person. Could be a young lady. Or there's an architect that's currently being spiritually impacted by a young karmic female. It's a 37 year old architect being impacted by a 22 year old karmic female 23 he wants to take her to court before her 25th birthday you're welcome why though yeah i don't mind why do you want to take her to court why do you want to take her to spiritual court Because you've gotten out of fear and you are getting closer to love. No longer stuck in your head, no longer binded to a lack mindset. And you've caught her doing something to someone else that's an official person. A king of swords. You caught her doing a ritual to some to a masculine energy and now you want her rounded up some lust for me spells. This architect has seen a karmic do some spell work on a masculine energy and he's calling judgment on her. He said the masculine um, feminine ancestors, they travel with him when he does astro projection. So it's an architect like kind of then stepped in on behalf of a masculine that's in poverty, but they're of high honor, but they're very, very stressed and overwhelmed and burdened right now because of a karmic female. And he wants this karmic female to get rounded up. Okay. What about the karmic female? Where is she at or what we need to know? That's nasty. That's nasty. She birthed this masculine. Playing with them. Right. Right. I pray, Dania. She in New York. This, this karmic female is in New York. She's not an aquatic being. She didn't got caught by a doctor. She uses Apple Pay. She recently went to a doctor and paid using Apple Pay and that shit was declined. And that system is connected to another system and that's how she about to get rounded up. She about to get rounded up. Look, you got 10 of Pentacles with the nine of Pentacles. She about to get rounded up, isolated and alone. All the magic she invested in doing, seven of Pentacles, eight of Pentacles, magician, full card. She's about to get rounded up for it. She is a four of Pentacle hoe. Well, Mr. Architect, you wanted a Wheel of Fortune moment. What what should you be focusing on right now? Your own mental health. 
You need to stop paying for sex, architect. <laughs> stop paying for sex, sir. You do. You pay hoes for sex. God said it's the truth. You're under judgment for it. Your ancestors know. And you have an entity on you because you had sex with one of them females while she was on her period in Earth sign. Somebody that calls themselves an architect has literally burned themselves having sex with somebody. It's a couple of different folks. It's a couple of different architects about to find out that they had sex with individuals and they paid them. They were long-term clients. Fellas, I'm sorry to tell y'all, but y'all are about to go to the doctors. And you are going to find out that your choices sexually from the past has literally cost you your future. I'm talking to like five different men, six different men right now. It's six different men. One man is wanting to bring justice for another masculine because he's seen a karmic fuck him over it's three other masculines that pay for sex and the karmics that they've fucked for money excuse my language spiritually are in poverty and have gotten caught up and are using their energy to escape a roundup excuse me Anybody that feels like they're an official person and they're experiencing poverty right now and they're learning life and how to use their spiritual gifts, upgrade their telepathy or learning that they have telepathy. Um, gentlemen, let me give you a spirit junkie message, okay? On the bottom of the deck is I accept the gifts I've been given as a high service to the world. All that I love is important, more important to me than what I fear. For some of you, this is an affirmation that you need to wake up and recite throughout the day. All that I love is more important to me than all that I fear. To some other men, every cell in my body is conscious and communicates with each positive thought I have. I'm pretty sure y'all could tell the difference in the dynamics of what's what for who's who. What's this New Hampshire energy? What's this New Hampshire energy for this roundup? You have concern. Who's concerned? A soldier that's married to an artist. They thought they were going to get away with it. So there's a soldier married to an artist. They are currently in New Hampshire, and they're very concerned right now. Kalima, why are they concerned? Because they also participate in low vibrational venues, ventures. Tell us more about the merchant energy. You have gift, they paid someone, oh my God, that they thought was faithful to them, but come to find out they're not. It's an older woman. Ah, it's an older woman. This soldier that's married to an artist paid an older woman. 
kids about to be very, very surprised. They're talking to the police right now. The older woman is. The older woman is explaining, I, I did the work because the soldier and artists, they're known to be cheerful people. They like to spread messages um, that gives hope to other individuals. I did not know that they were spiritual foes to divine masculine and divine feminine. When I did get the message, I was uh, very, very suicidal. And there's a divine feminine on YouTube right now talking about the soldier because the soldier is currently in spiritual jail and angels talk to this divine feminine. She put divine masculine in a melancholy energy listening to the artist. The soldier is a man. He has properties as well. He rents out houses, but he's a soldier. He could still be military and be out here doing uh, flip of houses and things like that in Maine. He does flip a house type, flip a house stuff in Maine. But the artist is a karmic. She's very cocky and conceited. And she feels like she used to go to the witch doctor for anything and everything. And the witch doctor is like, I shouldn't have never listen to her. I shouldn't have never done any of that. This witch doctor caused a lot of delays and psychosis to different masculine energies in general. Soulmates, divine masculines, any masculine energy that was just trying to move forward and leave Females that were giving them veils and illusions, basically poisoning their Neptune houses and planetary alignments. This practitioner says it's an angel about to beat her ass right now. And when I say police, I guess it's the spiritual police. It can be literal police officers that are awakened and know about angels. What angel with the practitioner? Right. You got the Queen of Pentacles root worker right there with the Nine of Cups. She gives consolation. She makes wishes come true. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Three of Swords. She says she's hurt right now. This angel has started beating her ass physically, y'all. God deflecting evil for a cups right there. Met Laiel with Gabriel. And Temperance. Angels told me to just keep going with the roundup. I follow instructions and I follow them well. That's why my work ethic is unmatched. Especially when it's something I enjoy doing. Okay, so practitioner getting their ass whooped, getting their gifts beat the fuck out of them. Excuse my language at this point in time. Mm-hmm. You got temperance right there again. Ten of Pentacles. Ancestors. Angels. Her spirit guides said they beaten her like on a game, Mario game, when you like, I don't know, when you hit something and coins come out. I think them used to be fire hydrants or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I played Mario. And anywho. Yeah, you got the star card with the ace of swords. I'm telling the truth. There's some star seeds that's like, please keep moving because we need to know more. Y'all going through psychosis, but y'all are divine warriors. All right, what the star seeds need to know, what the star seed entrepreneurs need to know because they have connections to this practitioner. Six of Pentacles right there with the seven of pentacles right there. What y'all need to know when it comes to y'all businesses, cause y'all love doing what y'all do. What the star seeds need to know to have connections to the practitioner again, getting beat up right now. Uh, You got the five of wands. It's battle and conflict coming to y'all businesses. What's the gift energy? If you have a jewelry store, you may want to make a plan with the two of wands. If you are a female, 
or feminine energy, but you're not emotionally available. You're very, very manipulative. You have the three of wands and you sell jewelry or you make jewelry or something. You're about to have someone come into your store and fuck you up. They wanted me to find Gypsy, right? Okay. All right, let's get into this soldier energy. What needs to be known about the soldier karmic in New Hampshire that's married to a low vibrational artist? They got married for money anyway. They got married for money. They got married. He said he knew he should have been single. He stood up in the room every day and be cussing, cussing that practitioner out um, telepathically for not telling him marrying the karmic was not a good idea. Death, wife card in reverse. The soldier is pissed off that that practitioner did not tell him that marrying the karmic was a bad idea. Instead, she was like, no, every wish that you want to come true in your life will happen if you marry her. She faithful to giving hope, but that hope is false. That hope is very, very frivolous. And she sells that hope as a job to females all over the world that want to do binding spells or females that want to avoid going to prison. I'm going to go dancing when I finish this. All right. Soldier and money. What about this? soldier's money ah Ooh. my husband not watching this right now my husband said he'll be right back to those wondering needs to be known about this soldier's money because he's not giving any to the wife right oh oh my goodness okay well To those connected to this soldier's money, y'all are about to be stressed and very overwhelmed. King of Wands with the High Priestess. Y'all are about to be very, very stressed and overwhelmed. This soldier does have a side piece and she's been doing her own spell work. But I'm hearing it's been in a balanced way. Not the soldier side piece feels like he was a simp, not a pimp. And she used that money to invest in her healing. She doesn't want to be anybody's wife. What about the side piece, wife in reverse? Yeah, you got the knight of wands. She's a player. She's very ambitious, so she could be a Scorpio. You got the King of Swords with the Queen of Wands. He cut her off, but she has ties to his money, and she's about to uh, tell with the Nine of Swords. She's about to like go ahead and expose the fact that she his side piece. Oh, this is messy. Yeah, the Two of Swords right there with the Three of Pentacles. Y'all messy. Knight of Cups, though, with the Wheel of Fortune. It's not a love. It's for healing. It's for ascension. God is about to bring balance to this situation. So some people can block this soldier and block this side piece. What about the death card energy? You have the Ten of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. If you all have spiritual uh, connections, which you do with this soldier and his karmic side piece, 
I would advise y'all to transmute the burdens and let that weight go. Make sure you all are not being so materialistic that you're holding on to possessions of things because some of those items can literally be possessed. This soldier, he's not in trouble. He's actually trying to figure out what he's going to do, but he's not manipulating anybody in the process. He's just undecided because he doesn't know what's going to happen to his money because his side piece has attached herself to his money. So they're both about to lose. Y'all will be getting some type of communication or a message about this. You invested with these people just to learn a lesson and the lesson was about materialism and greed being a side piece to someone married isn't cool so i guess old girl go go through her dark night of the soul with the nine of swords and then go about her way and this man is going to have to deal with his wife this karmic artist mm, you got child right here they could have a sagittarius child that's how they're bonded this man has a Sir, that child is your friend and your mom knows. And y'all wondering why why angels and goddesses and spirit guides is like, yeah, you you're going to need some wine for this one, Jasmine. This is messy. This is pathetic. This is reality TV coming out through tarot and oracle cards because people were in the spiritual realm literally playing. Playing not chess. This ain't even checkers. This is like fucking connect four or some shit. The soldier said he thought he was a divine masculine and that the practitioner was stealing from him. He didn't know that his mom was suffering from depression and was a clout chaser and projected all of that energy onto him. Well, sir, he said he just want to know a message from some angels. All right. That's it. He said he just need a message from some angels. He wasn't trying to get me riled up and upset. He apologizes. I accept your apology, sir. He said he know I don't do tarot for clout. I don't do tarot for recognition. I don't do tarot just like on some to be on social media doing something spiritual. Well, yeah, it's about to be a lot of scandal coming towards you, sir, involving that child that's really your homeboys, your mother being karmic, your side piece is about to tell on y'all, and your wife will get into it. You got the sun exposure right there with the page of cups. You all right. You got the nine of wands, but in reverse, it says God, the impenetrable secret, but it's in reverse. All secrets are out. <laughs> Your situation does not involve universal medicine. Unfortunately, you are receiving a revelation, revelation about your spiritual journey. And unfortunately, the steps you took was not to elevate you. God is about to exalt you. You need to, I don't know, whatever trip you're planning to do involving your children, you may want to get some court documentation that will allow them to travel with you or else the side piece, your wife, your mom, all of them are going to gang together to basically make sure you can't do anything with your children.
not see them, not talk to them, no nothing. You got yourself in a real messed up predicament, Mr. Soldier. But here's an affirmation for you. Be willing to see your sameness with others because that will open your awareness to oneness. You're not the only man out here that celebrated progress of being a pimp simp. However, how you were using your spiritual awareness, you already knew it wasn't perfection, but that wasn't your goal. Your goal wasn't to perfect yourself as a spiritual being, was it? No, it was not. So now you have to deal with consequences. The difficult relationships in your life are the perfect mirror for you to look more closely at your own behavior. Go clear your heart chakra and then go talk to God, okay? That's the best advice I could tell you. Clear your heart chakra, then go talk to God. Don't call the side piece. Don't call, you can't even call that practitioner. Don't call nobody. You just clear your heart chakra and, and talk to God. All right, what needs to be known about the wife, this artist? She's not American. She's a trust fund, baby. Her people left her money and she came over to America to fuck up that soldier. They met wherever he was overseas at. He was a mature man, but because of her, now he's a main man. I don't know if you're going to be able to redeem yourself. That ain't my call. That ain't my judgment. Don't have nothing to do with me. Apparently, your ancestors know my ancestors from Oklahoma. All right. Apparently your karmics are connected to a specific actress whose karmics are connected to one of my spirit sisters in Alabama. Angels, what we need to know about, right, Ten of Swords. What needs to be known about this artist, this low vibrational artist? What does the husband need to know about this wife? So he could take a leap of faith to believe in God's plan for his life. It's good that you're holding yourself accountable for your actions and behaviors, sir. You got death. She is a Scorpio. I did say that, right? I thought it was the side piece that was a Scorpio. It's the wife that's a Scorpio. The side piece is a Capricorn. She's watching now because she's sick, laying up in the house as God is revealing that she's the karmic. She still go like take part in how to get you to like not be part of your children's life though, sir. But this is part of your Saturn's return. Influences health and longevity. So the wife is a Scorpio. Pisces is in her seventh house. When Pisces is in your seventh house, seventh house is about companionship, relationships, and things like that. That's how she knew to try to ruin this man. Sir, I don't know if you were a divine masculine or not, but you got death again. Death on top of death. And under that is wife and money. She's about to have an ending to her own money. The police is talking to that practitioner. They're about to comp they're about to cease her fucking assets, sir. Sir, masculine watching this, it may come to you as a surprise if the police come to you like, hey, some things happened. Your wife is sick. You blah 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 blah. Shabba da da. That was not tongues. That was just me saying shabba da 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 da. Death on top of death for this artist, though. This female, her jealousy and envy about twin flames reuniting with each other made her more and more and more and more fake and phony and karmic and low vibrational and angels than they were like, we know you know better. She knew better. 
This wife might actually be facing death in New Hampshire. The police might lock her up. This artist may have caught herself doing death magic and it's proof of it. You got this you got the chariot right there. The police might have proof of this woman doing death magic death spells on someone to make them sick. Somebody that rejected her, another female. So your your wife is bisexual. You kind of figured that when she lied about sleeping with her Virgo co-worker in the past. Lovers, six of cups, hermit, seven of swords, three of pentacles, ace of cups. Queen of swords right there. I'm telling the truth. Lord have mercy. So listen, um... She binded your homeboy to make... No, your side piece baby is your homeboy's baby. That's what that is. Your side piece has a baby by your homeboy. <sighs> All of them just wanted to hold on to you because the, the type of man that you were using your power in the past, they want you to stay... They wanted you to stay karmic and low vibrational. Ain't no other way around that. Ain't no other way for me to rephrase that they are just four pinnacle, four cupsies. Apathetic about the past, always reminiscing, but the stuff they were reminiscing about was when you were toxic. I mean, folks try to do that to my husband all the time, but your side piece just wanted a new beginning. That's why she did binding magic on you through sex. But she know that she's going to receive karma. Angels are going to balance that out by putting an ending to you feeling like a wounded warrior. And instead, maybe you'll feel like a divine warrior. In regards to your wife, though, she's of all her assets are about to get seized. I think I said that already. Yeah, you got the six of pentacles. Her bank account's about to get ceased, frozen. Yep, two of wands with the queen of cups. She's a Pisces and or Scorpio. Sir, are you someone with two wives? Do you have two wives, sir? You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. You have a, a, you do have two wives. You have a Pisces wife and a Scorpio wife. Okay, sir. Your ancestor said you don't have enough spiritual piggy bank for me to continue to give you messages from God like you wish. But your angels want you to know that the type of seven of swords behavior that you've done your wife is your karma that's the nice way for me to put it your wife is fate both of your wives are facing death that's why death came out here twice they're about to have death of ancestral lineage they're getting annexed it's death of finances as well death of businesses and the police are going to be freezing and ceasing some accounts Somebody in New Hampshire does have investments in a jail. It's not a prison. It's a jail. It's a female. She's trying to figure out what she, how she could pull her money out of that investment. Bitch, it's too late. Your money already tied in there. You might as well check that up as a lesson. I won't say loss, but as a lesson. Okay? You was wishing that some type of balance would come to that. Look, seven of pentacles with the two of pentacles and the nine of cups. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Star card and the Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups. Karmic Feminine, that's an artist in general. Your home, you pay your mortgage based off of the money from the jail that you invested in. That prison that your friend is in, you're not about to get any money anymore from them being in there. That jail that you have investments in, it's about to close. It's about to shut down. Just like some of the schools in San Antonio, Texas. This was a roundup for, for karmic people's ass. This is also some angels for giving deliverance to some individuals that need it. Because y'all watch tarot. Y'all tired of the messy shit. Y'all tired of not actually receiving real answers. Emperor energy right there. Y'all want real messages. Y'all want real truth. 
take a leap of faith and communicate with your high vibrational masculine ancestors those whose blood is actually running in your dna and they're trying to help you and give you messages about things more important than wealth and money because when you die this planet money isn't what goes with you bye